Uh, yeah, check it out, guys. So I think you guys know what this video is about from the title and the thumbnail, but just in case you don't, Too Mad is dead. Uh, yeah, there's no easy way to say that. He was found in his house on February 14th, 2024, which is Valentine's Day. No one heard from him for the past five days, so we don't know an accurate time of death when he actually did die. I had just got onto Twitter, uh, you know, on Valentine's Day, and I was not expecting the amount of shit I saw. As shocking as it was to just see his death, like, the way people were reacting to it online was insane in my opinion, and I just wanted to see why was this the case. Now, what was even more polarizing was the tweet that James Key went ahead and put out shortly after the announcement of his death. I can finally say it, Too Mad was a R-word and a Peppa Pig file. Over the past few years, he tried to unalive me multiple times for helping the police and detectives in multiple states to investigate a lot of horrible things he has done. He wanted to take out multiple innocent lives by getting behind a wheel and going head on on freeway while being high on illegal substances. He didn't succeed once as he OD'd before unaliving anybody, so he tried it again. Despite him trying to unalive me and multiple innocent lives, I've been trying to help law enforcement to make sure he's safe, doesn't get hurt, and doesn't harm anybody. Please remember that he's a R-word and a Peppa Pig file. He continued to prey on the vulnerable even after the police got involved, including a 13-year-old in a mental hospital. The tragedy doesn't excuse any of his actions. I will address a lot of stuff when I fully collect my thoughts. Past few months have been a total mess and reason why I ended up in the ER. Please give me time. Giving him time is not an issue, but the problem is the guy went ahead and posted this minutes after the announcement of his death, which is not only problematic, the fact that you didn't come out with any kind of proof or evidence for any of the claims that you're making is not the greatest in any way, shape, or form. Now, um, with that being said, we also do have to talk about Too Mad and his past. And Too Mad is not a man that is totally innocent either. We are talking about a very controversial figure who did do a lot of things. Though a lot of them are alleged, he did admit to SA on a live stream with uh, Turkey Tom, Tom Dark, however you know of him. And he was in a, a uh, court case going ahead and trying to disprove that claim. Other than that, he also did do questionable things, where though his trolling was pretty funny, a lot of people didn't take any liking to it, which is understandable to see why people were acting like this on Twitter. It is ironic to a lot of these people on Twitter because this guy did just go ahead and play Overwatch and possibly OD'd, basically dying alone. Though these circumstances are sad, the one thing I do want to highlight here is I do understand wanting to be very skeptical about a lot of people making stuff up and accusing people of random things. Sometimes accusations like the stuff that Too Mad has been accused of need to be taken in a serious light with the evidence provided. So with the conversations on Twitter being an all out war, I think all of this needs to be taken as a serious look, but understand that this guy can't respond back. And to be honest, a lot of the drama dies with him, quite literally speaking. So after this, what's the point of even bringing it up in the first place? Now, here's the thing. I, I don't like how everyone's talking about Too Mad's death in this case scenario. Again, I don't think he's a great guy. I think he's a guy that has many flaws. I think um, with what he's admitted to, he is pretty much a scummy guy, but he didn't really deserve this kind of clowning on on Twitter. And I find it really abhorrent. Like, imagine if this was, you know, you or someone else or someone you loved and people just started clowning on them it just isn't right to say the least and the people that are mourning his loss you know it it's just rubbing salt into their wound so it's always nice to go ahead and be a little cautious with the way you react 
when dealing with someone's death. However, if this guy was going to go out and unalive people, I wouldn't have any sympathy in this regard. And to be fair, um, I wouldn't give a shit that he died. That's my take on this entire situation. Uh, if you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. And practically, see you later too, Matt.